بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آر فائن اینڈ یو ہیو ڈن ایکسرسائز سکس پوائنٹ ون ٹو سکس پوائنٹ سکس آن یور اسائنمنٹ شیٹس اسٹوڈنٹس ان شاء اللہ آن فرائیڈے یو ول گیٹ دا اسسمنٹ آف چیپٹر نمبر فائیو اینڈ چیپٹر نمبر سکس فرام سکس پوائنٹ ون ٹو سکس پوائنٹ سکس سو گیٹ پریپیئرڈ فار دا اسسمنٹ ان شاء اللہ ناؤ اٹس ٹائم ٹو ڈو ایکسرسائز سکس پوائنٹ سیون In this exercise, the formula I used are a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b and a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. Now how to apply these formulae? Look at the left hand side of the formulae. It is the cube of an expression containing two terms. a plus b two terms and whole cube it means the cube of sum of two uh, you can say uh, numbers or expressions or uh, overall it will be an algebraic expression containing two terms now look at its right hand side a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b if you multiply a plus b three times what is the meaning of a plus b whole cube it means multiplication of a plus b three times When you multiply a plus b three times by usual method of multiplication, you will get the expression on the right hand side. It is actually containing four terms. What are the four terms? A cube plus b cube plus three a square b plus three a b square. And when you take three a b common from the last two terms, you will get three a b into a plus b. Similarly, the in the next formula, the same procedure is followed. Now, it's time to apply these formulae. Question number one is find the cube of the following. Consider considering part number two, it is two m plus one. It means you need to find out cube of two m plus one. By the application of the formula, a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus three ab into a plus b, and replacing a by two m and b by one on both sides of the formula. When you put A is equal to two m and b is equal to one. Left hand side becomes two m plus one whole cube. And when you replace a by two m and b by one, right hand side will become two m whole cube plus one cube plus three into two m into one. It is the product of three and a and b. So three into two m into one. And again, this product three a b is being multiplied by a plus b. So into two m plus one. Now what is overall Uh, the expression 2m whole cube plus 1 cube plus 3 into 2m into 1 into 2m plus 1. Now simplification gives you 2m whole cube is equal to 8m cube. 1 cube is equal to 1. And first you multiply the uh, ex, uh, the you can say terms outside the bracket. 3 into 2m 6m 6m into 1 is 6m and then in the next step open the brackets 6m will be multiplied by 2m it will give you 12m square and 6m is multiplied by 1 will give you 6m so the answer is 8m cube plus 1 plus 12m square plus 6m in part number 11 You, we have to find out the cube of 4x minus 2y whole cube. Now, as the connecting sign is negative sign, that is, the expression is 4x minus 2y. Therefore, the formula used is a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. On the same lines as in the previous question, replacing a by 4x. And b by 2y in this formula, left hand side becomes 4x minus 2y whole cube is equal to again by replacing a by 4x and b by 2y. What will you get? A cube means 4x whole cube minus b cube means 2y whole cube minus 3 into a into b means 3 into 4x into 2y into a minus b means into 4x minus 2y. Simplify. 4x whole cube is equal to 64x cube minus 2y whole cube is equal to 8y cube minus multiply the terms outside the bracket 4 into 3 uh, 4x into 3 is 12x and 12x multiplied by 2y is 24xy then multiply 24xy by 4x minus 2y in the next step and you will get the answer moving on the same lines you can do all the parts of question number 1 
Now, what is question number 2? If x plus 1 over x is equal to 8, find the value of x square x cube plus 1 over x cube. Students, you are given with x plus 1 over x is equal to 8. And on the left hand side, the exponent of x is 1. Now you have to find out x cube plus 1 over x cube. Here the exponent of x is 3. It means you have to take cube on both sides of the equation which is given. After taking whole cube on both sides, you can see that on the left hand side the expression is x plus 1 over x whole cube. Therefore, you will apply the formula a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. Replacing a by x and b by 1 over x in the formula, what will you get? a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube means x cube plus b cube means 1 over x whole cube plus 3ab means 3 into x into 1 over x into a plus b means x plus 1 over x is equal to 8 cube is 512. You can see that x is being cancelled. You are left with x cube plus 1 over x cube plus 3 into x plus 1 over x is equal to 512. Substitute the value of x plus 1 over x is equal to 8. 8 threes are 24. Simplify it by shifting 24 to the right hand side and you will get the answer to be 488. In question number 5, if x minus 1 over x is equal to 2, find the value of x cube minus 1 over x cube. Now students, moving on the same lines as in question number 2, you are given with x minus 1 over x is equal to 2 and if you need to find out x cube minus 1 over x cube, you need to take whole cube on both sides. And as it is x minus 1 over x whole cube, it means the formula used will be a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. Replacing a by x, b by 1 over x, you will get x cube minus 1 over x whole cube minus 3 into x into 1 over x into x minus 1 over x is equal to 8. x is being cancelled. Substituting the value of x minus 1 over x, simplification will give you the answer as 14. Dear students, the home task is to complete exercise 6.7 on your assignment sheets. Now, question number 6 is, Find cubes of the following by using formulae. Students, I hope you remember that in the previous exercises, you have found the square of the given numbers by using formulae. On the same lines, you will find out the cube of the given number by using formulae. Now, if you need to find out 13 cube, you have to write 13 as 10 plus 3. Now, why is it necessary to write 13 as 10 plus 3? Because taking cube of 10 is very much easy without using calculator you can tell that 10 cube is 1000 and taking cube of 3 is very much easy without using calculator but if you write 13 cube to be 9 plus 4 whole cube 9 plus 4 is also equal to 13 then 9 cube multiplying 9 3 times is a little uh, you can say complicated you need to do some calculations and uh, you cannot uh, tell easily that what is 9 cube and what is 4 cube therefore if you write 13 as 9 plus 4 your marks will be deducted therefore break the given number into easier ones whose cubes or squares or products can be taken easily without using calculator so if you write 13 as 10 plus 3 it will give you 10 plus 3 whole cube Therefore, by the application of formula a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b, replacing a by 10 and b by 3 in the formula, you will get this expression. Simplify, 10 cube is equal to 1000 plus 3 cube is equal to 27 plus. By, uh, when you simplify these last, uh, this last term, first of all, multiply the terms outside the bracket. 3 into 10, 30, 30 into 3, 90 and add up the terms inside the bracket. It is 13. Then multiply 90 by 13, add up all the terms and you will get 2197. In part number 3, 0.99 whole cube is required. Again, moving on the same lines, you will write 0 0.99 as 1 minus 0 0.01 whole cube. Replacing A by 1 and B by 0 0.01 in the formula 
a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b using calcula uh, doing calculations very carefully you will get the answer to be 0 0.970 299 so students complete exercise 6.7 on your assignment sheets now let's revise the definition of the linear polynomial which you which you have learned in chapter number 5 what is the definition of linear polynomial a polynomial of degree 1 is called a linear polynomial for example 2x plus 3 x plus 9, 2y minus 5, etc. Students, look at this algebraic expression. It is containing two terms. What is the definition of a polynomial? It is an expression in which exponents of the variables are whole numbers. Now look at the exponent of x in first term. What is it? 1. What is the exponent of x in second term? There is no x in the second term. It means it is uh, it can be written as x bar 0. Therefore, the exponent of x is 0. 1 is a whole number? Yes. 0 is a whole number? Yes. It means 2x plus 3 is a polynomial. What is the degree of a polynomial? The highest power of the variable in each term is called its degree. So, in the first term, power of x is 1. In the second term, power of x is 0. What is the highest? 1. So, degree of this expression is 1. So therefore, it is a linear polynomial. Now, if you generalize it, what will be its standard form? 2x plus 3 or 2y minus 5 or x plus 9. Here, 2 and 3 are particular constants. Here, coefficient of x is 1, 1 and 9 and particular uh, constants. Therefore, to write its standard form, we have to write it as ax plus b. a and b are constants like 2 and 3. And this is a linear polynomial ax plus b. So when you put this ax b is equal to 0, you will get a linear equation in one variable because in this expression, in this polynomial, the variable is only 1, that is x. So ax plus b is equal to 0 is a linear equation in one variable. Okay? So if you write, out, write down the linear equation in two variables, you can write it ax plus by is equal to c. Yani substituting an other uh, or you can say introducing another variable with the other constant b. by is equal to 0. One more thing students. ax plus by can be 0 and can be equal to any constant. So the right hand side can be 0 and can be any other constant other than 0. Therefore we also write it as ax plus by is equal to c. c means any constant. For example, if I say 2x plus 3y is equal to 0 or I say 2x plus 3y is equal to 9, right hand side can be 0 and can be any constant. Now, it comes the definition of simultaneous linear equations. First of all, we are talking about linear equations. Secondly, we are talking about simultaneous linear equations. Look at the definition. Two or more equations consisting of same set of variables satisfied simultaneously by the same values of the variables are called simultaneous linear equations. Now how to understand it? Look at this example. First equation is x plus y is equal to 2. This equation is containing two variables x and y. And second equation is x minus y is equal to 1. It is also containing two variables x and y. It means both the equations are containing the same variables. Now again look at the definition. Two or more equations consisting of same set of variables. It means these two equations satisfy the first condition of the definition. Now if I put x is equal to 3 over 2 and y is equal to 1 over 2 in both the equations they are satisfied. What is the meaning of satisfaction of an equation? If I put x is equal to 3 over 2 and y is equal to 1 over 2 in first equation it is x plus y means 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is equal to 2. So right hand side is equal to left hand side. Therefore, this equation is satisfied by these values of x and y. Similarly, if you put uh, this value of x and y in second equation, 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2 is equal to 1. Again, right hand side and left hand sides are equal for these two values. Therefore, these two equations which are having the same variables, 
are satisfied by same values of the variable. Therefore, the second condition is also fulfilled. Therefore, these two equations are simultaneous linear equations. Now, what will be the standard form? a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y is equal to c2. Why I am using a1 and b1? Because if I use a, b and c in both the equations, it means the constants are same. And the constants are not necessarily same. Now, come to exercise 6.8. Question number one is write equations for the following statements. Now you have uh, studied or learned these type of statements in uh, earlier uh, junior classes. Therefore, you can easily understand. Now read the statement carefully. The difference between father's age and daughter's age is 26 years. Students, there are two unknowns in this statement. You don't know what is father's age. You don't know what is daughter's age. Therefore, you have to suppose for father's age to be X and daughter's age to be Y. Now, as the difference is 26, a positive number, there, the difference is always positive when you subtract smaller number from the bigger number. Father's age is uh, definitely greater than the daughter's age. Therefore, what will be the equation? x minus y is equal to 26. Next, considering part number 3, if a number is added to 3 times of another number, the sum is 25. A number is added to 3 times of another number. Both the numbers are unknown. So, suppose one number to be x and second number to be y. Now, if a number is added to 3 times of the other number, we have supposed other number to be y. What is 3 times of y? Yes, it is 3y. Now, if the first number x is added to 3 times of the second number, the sum is 25. It means x plus 3y is equal to 25. On the same lines, you can do the remaining parts of this question. Question number 2 is, find two solutions of equation 2x plus y is equal to 3. Now, students, how to find out the solution? It is very much easy to substitute the value of x or y as per your choice and finding out the value of the other variable. For this purpose, it will be very much easy for you if you find out the values of x or y from the given equation. You can find out the value of x from this equation but I have found the value of y. If you take 2x to the right hand side, it will give you 3 minus 2x. So the equation becomes y is equal to 3 minus 2x. This is the value of y from the given equation. It is uh, not the rule. You can also find out the value of x. No problem. Now, if I put x is equal to 0, what is this x is equal to 0? A real number of my own choice. You can choose any real number. 0, 1, 2, positive number, negative number, whatever you want, whatever you like. So, if I put x is equal to 0 in this equation, on the right hand side, it will become 3 minus 2 into 0. 2 into 0 is 0. The value of y will be 3. So, as by substituting x is equal to 0 in this equation, you have found the value of y. Therefore, these two values of x and y, which are 0 and 3, will give you the solution of the equation. So, this is one solution. Again, I put any other number of my choice. I put x is equal to 1. You can put any number of your own choice. 3 minus 2 into 1. 3 minus 2, the answer is 1. Therefore, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 is another solution of the given equation. Likewise, you can find out the many solutions of the given equation. Now, question number 5 is, is 1, 2 a solution of x plus y is equal to 3 and 2x plus 7 y is equal to 16? Students, if a pair of two elements, a pair of elements, a pair of real numbers is a solution of two equations, it means both the equations must, are, are, are satisfied by, must satisfied by this pair of uh, values. First of all, look at this pair. It is 1, 2. Now, this 1, 2 is called a pair of elements. Here, in this pair, order is very much important. First value is always of the value of x and second value is always the value of y. Keep this in mind. Therefore, substitute x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 in first equation x plus y is equal to 3. In left hand side, when you put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2, you will get left hand side will give you 3. 
left hand side is equal to right hand side so the equation is satisfied similarly when you put the same values x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 in the second equation left hand side will give you 16 which is also the right hand side it is also satisfied as both the equations are satisfied by this pair therefore this pair will give you the solution of the uh, uh, solution of both the equations dear students Complete exercises 6.7 and 6.8 on your assignment sheets and get prepared for the assessment from chapter number 5 and chapter number 6 exercises 6.1 to 6.6. .6. Good luck.